A group gathering here in Washington to talk about their UFO sightings, but this apparently is no crackpot convention. Former high-level government and military officials are among those sharing what they've seen in the skies. Our national correspondent Gary Tuckman is here. He's watching all of this uh, unfold. So what's this conference, Gary, all about? Well, Wolf, it's most interesting, a panel discussion within the Beltway so about what sir. might be taking place in the Milky Way the and beyond. Have extraterrestrials visit us here on Earth? Well, 14 men from seven different countries participated in a panel discussion to describe why they believe UFOs have visited Earth. And these aren't guys they just picked up off the street. The panel includes former governor of Arizona, Fife Symington, who is one of many Arizonans who said they saw UFOs back in 1997 during an episode that is popularly referred to as the Phoenix Lights. Major sighting here. We want the United States government to stop perpetuating the myth that all UFOs can be explained away in down-to-earth and conventional terms. Instead, our country needs to reopen its official investigation that it shut down in 1969. Also participating was a retired Air Force captain who says he and his passengers saw a huge flying disc. Also a retired Peruvian Air Force pilot who says he came within 300 feet of a circular UFO flying at 63,000 feet. And then there is a retired U.S. Air Force security officer who, while stationed in England, was summoned to a downed aircraft in a forest. When we came up on the triangular-shaped craft, there were blue and yellow lights swirling around the exterior as though they were part of the surface. The air around us was electrically charged and we could uh, feel it on our clothes, our skin, and our hair. Well, Penniston then says the craft took off. He never saw any beings inside or outside the UFO. He says he took pictures but inferred they were purposely overexposed by the government. Now, we've talked to the FAA before about investigating these kinds of claims, but the agency says, quote, it does not have the power to investigate. We've covered a few of these kinds of stories before, Wolf, and one thing that we always mention to the enthusiasts is if one of these craft came down on Earth and did an interview with one of us, the debate would be over. But that hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened yet, but there's, you know, who knows? Could, could happen. Gary, thanks very much for that report. Uh, by the way, there have even been some UFO sightings reported right here in the nation's capital. There was a flurry of them back in July of 1952 when the Air Force investigated but was never able to solve or prove anything. Take a look at these headlines. Aerial, what's its uh, buzz? D.C. again. Air Force uh, after DC saucers, jets ready to chase lights, jets ordered to hunt down flying saucers. There was a lot of hype, a lot of excitement back in 1952.